Let's install our RFG from Vivid Creative Aquatics. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and welcome all the reefers back and all the YouTubers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this install of the RFG nozzles from Vivid Creative Aquatics. Um, first thing you guys want to do with the installation on this, and again, this is going to be installed on the Innovative Marine uh, Lagoon tank. Um, installation should be the same for any of the other Innovative Marine uh, line of tanks that they make these uh, adapters and connectors for. Uh, so obviously first thing you want to do is shut the flow off. Um, real quick just wanted to go ahead and point out to you guys here the length of the nozzles are pretty much the same as the factory nozzles themselves. Um, the only thing you guys want to probably do is if you are going to get these for your aquarium um, they do come in different sizes. I would check the website and make sure you're getting the right size for your tank. Now I guess for the um, your standard lock line connections, they come in half inch and three quarter inch and I believe a one inch also. But uh, the one I did get for my lagoon tank was the 19 millimeter adapters. I uh, went ahead and removed those, plugged the adapters to the half inch nozzles and got them reinstalled back the same way pretty simple installation um, just pop off the nozzles pop on the new ones get the flow started back up and you're good to go thing about these nozzles that are pretty unique is that they actually generate a random flow throughout the tank um, they're not the inductor nozzles like you guys are used to seeing but these have a pretty unique pattern on them that allow it to not have any moving parts and also be able to generate a random flow it is all 3D printed on aquarium safe plastic. Um, I actually use this, uh, these nozzles on another tank that I have and have coralline growing on it and everything. So pretty safe to use around your aquariums and your fish and corals and everything. Um, after I got it started back up, what you want to do is try to find the right position for the nozzles themselves. Uh, don't point them towards the surface because then you won't actually get the random flow that you're looking for I would say have it just below the surface of the water if you guys are looking for a random flow uh, it's gonna be something that you want to play around with a little bit just to see where's the right spot which direction you want it to um, where you want the flow to go things like that but for me I found that just keeping it right underneath the surface of the aquarium uh, the water actually gave me a nice ripple across the top of the water and also the random flow. A uh, couple things I want to just point out here, as you guys can see, all the micro bubbles, they, the skimmer is still breaking in, still got the cycle going on. So don't worry, should be clear in about another week here. Other than that, just want to go ahead and do some uh, shots of how the flow looks across the water surface, under the water, and just around the aquarium. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I did get this from off of their website. They are running a special uh, for anybody in the Rico's Nano uh, contest here. I'll go ahead and put a um, link to their website down in the description below and also uh, a link to the Reef Dudes uh, website, which has all the rules for the contest. Um, go ahead and check it out, see what they got to offer there. Again, they do more than just the, uh, the RFG nozzles. They do have uh, tube holders, uh, also holders for the Ecotec line of uh, aquarium uh, wave controllers there. So just go on and check their website out, see what they got to offer for you guys. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.